hi everyone welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to easily draft this beautiful female trousers pattern this is beginner friendly all you have to do is watch until the end and follow all the steps and don't forget to subscribe if you'd love to watch more videos like this one because i post new videos weekly so the first thing to do is to draw my waistline i have drawn a line which is my waistline and that is where i'm going to start placing my points from so after drawing my waistline i'm going to put my waist to hip measurement i'll get my measuring tape put the measuring tape on my waist and my waist to hip is nine inches so the distance between my waist and hip is nine inches you have to make sure you get your own body measurements guys these are my measurements then I'm going to draw a horizontal line like that then I'm going to label this as my hip line with a letter H then next I'm going to get my crouch line so this is how you get your crouch line it's very easy guys you have to sit on a flat surface then get the distance between your waist to the seat that distance is what is known as the crouch distance like you have seen on the screen so my crouch was 10 inches I'll put my measuring tape like that on 10 inches then I'm going to draw a horizontal line like that and I'm going to label it as my crouch with a letter C then next I'm going to get my thigh line so the thigh line is just three inches below the crouch and this is a standard measurement guys is three inches for slightly taller people it could be three and a half or four inches but the standard is three inches then i'm going to draw a horizontal line on the thigh line and i'll label it with a letter t to represent the thigh the next i'll find my waist to knee measurement so my waist to knee measurement is 20 inches I'll plot my 20 inches and I'm going to draw a horizontal line and I'm going to label it with a letter K to represent my knee line like that then finally I'm going to get my full length of the trousers the full length is usually at the ankle area or just on the floor length it's up to you so my full length from my waist going down I'll get my full length and I'm going to plot and draw a horizontal line on my full length so that is my full length of trousers So now that I have my full length, I'm now going to put in the circumference measurement starting with the hip. You have to take note that for the trousers, we always start with the hip circumference, guys. Don't start with your waist, start with your hip and I'll show you later on why we start with the hip. So my hip divided by 4 is 10 inches, I'll put it there. Remember the trousers is on fold, making four parts. That's why I divided by four. Then I'm going to connect this line of my hip up to my waist and down to the crouch. I'll connect it to the crouch, then up to the hip. So now this line, from this line that I have drawn, that is where I'll put my waist line going that side. The waistline will start from that line going towards that end. So that is the reason why we drew that line and it will help us to curve our waist. So I'm going to put my waistline from that line going this side and not the other way around. And then I'm going to there to there I'm going to curve my hip with my curve ruler so 
So I'll use my curve ruler to curve my hip. I hope you see the reason why I placed my waistline from the other side to that side so that we can have room to curve our hip this side on the other side. So I've just curved my hip. Then next I'm going to put my crouch measurement on that point on the crouch. This is how you get your crouch measurement. Get the distance on your hip, that distance divided by four. So my hip distance here is 10 inches divided by four. The answer is what I'll put on this crouch line outward. So I'm just folding my tape there. That is where I'm going to put my crouch measurement. That's the distance on the hip divide by four. So that is the crouch. Then I'm going to curve my crouch line with my curve ruler. So that is the crouch. I'm going to curve with my curve ruler. So this is my French curve, curve ruler. I'll connect it there on the crouch. Then I'm going to curve my crouch. So that is how you easily curve your crouch guys, very easy. So the crouch has been curved. So if you love this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Then now I'm going to find the midpoint of that line on the crouch, from the crouch, curved crouch all the way this side. I'll find the midpoint and plot on the midpoint. So my midpoint, I'll just fold my measuring tape. That is the easiest way to find your midpoint, guys. Then the folded part, I'll plot the midpoint like that. And I'm going to draw a line connecting all the way up from the midpoint to down. And this is going to be my center front for the trousers. And it's also going to help us to shape the trousers later on in the video. So this is very important guys. I'm just drawing the center line from the midpoint. As easy as that. So this is my center line and it will help me to shape my trous leg. So next I'm going to find my thigh circumference divided by two and my knee circumference divided by two and my ankle circumference divided by two then i'll place them here note that the waist and the hip are always divided by four that is standard measurement for the trousers but the thigh knee and ankle is divided by two this is a standard measurement so my thigh divided by two gave me 10 inches then 10 inches i'll put five inches on the other side from the midpoint then the other five on the other side making it 10 inches the other five from the midpoint like that then i'll move on to my knee i'm going to do the same so my knee circumference divided by two gave me seven inches so i'll put half of seven is 3.5 from the midpoint i'll put 3.5 on the other side and 3.5 on the other side making it seven inches i hope that's clear guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections i'll do the same on the full length which is my ankle my ankle divide by two is five inches so i'll put 2.5 on the other side and 2.5 on the other side like that so the center line helps us to demarcate then i'm going to curve my trousers and shape it nicely so i'm just using my curve ruler there to shape my trousers so i'm just shaving shaping my trousers if you love this video please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up so i'm just shaping and let me know in the question comment section if you have any questions i'll gladly reply to everyone 
so I'm just shaping my trousers and once more don't forget to subscribe and give it a like and so I'm just connecting as you can see towards the end there it looks so nice it's very easy and my trousers has been shaped like that so now that I've shipped my trousers, which looks so nice, guys, you have to add seam allowance all around it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Comment in the sections and let me know what you think about this trousers pattern. Bye! <coughs>